What's happening, boys and girls? I am the Anthemental, and this is Today in Gaming. I hope you are having a uh, thirsty Thursday. And to keep that thirst filled for you, I got a whole slew of news just to quench it. Just to quench it all right up. So, a lot different than yesterday's kind of lack of news. We actually got a pretty good, uh, pretty good day today. So, just to start things off, we actually just got our trailer. We actually got it yesterday, kind of late. And I seem to have missed it, but the the trailer for Netflix's Castlevania animation style series dropped, and my God, it looks awesome! I I'm super pumped for this series. I'm super pumped just to see them kind of go back to Castlevania roots and Castlevania lore. Just see, you know, how much of Belmont and then Alucard and everything we're going to get. Anyways, I'm going to post a link for it. Definitely go check it out. It it looks to be pretty dope. So moving on, we have some Overwatch news. So in a recent interview, Jeff Kaplan, the director for Overwatch, said that they are very far along with the next character. It's it, it, it it's almost like compulsory right now. Not compulsory. It's almost like it it it's gonna be Doomfist. Like it it's so like everybody knows it's Doomfist. Even Terry Crews said in a, a live video he had posted that he has something very that something big announcement is going to come at E3 and he didn't say exactly what but then he laughed and said y'all know what it is um, so yeah we we should be getting Doomfist soon they'll probably do the announcement at E3 in a couple weeks and then uh, yeah I, I'm excited for it I'm I've been playing the anniversary event recently and it's it's a blast uh, of course I mean there's not a lot of things different just a lot of new skins and stuff like that it's just real cool to see it and. Yeah, I'm probably going to do a jump on that after I'm done with this video. <laughs> Moving on. So, we... Oh, uh, some kind of in the middle uh, in the middle news, kind of streaming news. So, Beam, the company, the streaming company that is not Twitch, but very similar to it, is that's owned by Microsoft, is now changing its name to Mixer. There's a whole slew of changes that are coming with this. Actually, some really cool stuff. And the interactivity that they're promoting with that you're going to be able to do with it is actually pretty cool. They mentioned something like, you know, playing Minecraft and the, the, your viewers will be able to spawn in zombies and stuff like that or other mobs to kind of mess with you. Looks really cool. And I'm, uh, they have even like four screen streaming to where you can all be on one channel instead of having to have four different individual streamers channels. It just looks really cool. And uh, there's doing a lot of stuff. I'll post uh, more about that uh, on a later time. No. There, uh, another thing is Game Pass. Xbox Game Pass has recently gone live for several people, and the the Game Pass is the basically Netflix style of games that Xbox has introduced. That it's similar to um, I can't remember what the PlayStation service is called. However, the main difference is that with PlayStation, you stream the games from an off-site, so you do have to be always connected. With Xbox, you actually don't even need Xbox Live Gold. To participate in Xbox Live Game Pass. So you can uh, be a member of Game Pass. And you download the games. Whatever are on there. And as long as you are continually paying that. Which I believe is something like $15 a month. Then you will always have access to those games. And you download them straight to their hard drive. Or to other storage device. And you'll be able to play them as you would. Obviously if you don't have gold. You won't be entitled to any of the, like, the multiplayer stuff. But you will still be able to play most of the games in full, which is pretty cool. But that did go live. Apparently, they're advertising a 14-day trial to go along with it. So if you are an Xbox fan or if you're not and you have an Xbox for whatever reason, go ahead and try it out, see how you like it. Apparently, there's like 100 different games on there right now. Like Halo 5 is on there. Um, a lot of the backward compatible titles are going to be on there as well as the games with gold titles are going to be on there. So I highly just say check it out, you know, more games is always good. Moving on, Earth Defense Force 5 uh, got a new trailer. I completely forgot about this series. I didn't even know they were on 5. Last time I checked, I think they were still doing like year titles. I mean, like it was like 2040 something. I don't know. But yeah, Earth Defense Force 5 is it's uh, scheduled to come out in Japan for the PlayStation 4 in the summer. Um, but they did release a trailer that had both Japanese and English. Uh, it, it, this, this game series is ludicrous. It's... It's pretty cool though, but you you play fighting giant bugs and like anything from ants and scorpions and spiders and they're come from outer space and then you get like giant mech suits and it's a very Japanese game that looks awesome. The rest of the series is pretty awesome and it's great with friends. 
So just be on the lookout for that. I'll post the, the crazy trailer down below as well. Then we had a development update for Final Fantasy VII, the remake that is supposed to be come out at some point. <laughs> um, it is still going to be episodic, but apparently Square Enix is now recruiting more members to work on it because they. it, it sounds like they don't really have that much forward which is really disheartening i was really hoping we're going to see more of that maybe it's all a ploy and we don't really i mean we really haven't seen anything since we got some kind of stuff at uh, playstation experience last year but you know here's hoping for the best you know i of course i want them to take as much time as they need it and from the director i believe his name is uh, tetsuya nomura he said that he wants to take as much time as he wants to on it because he wants people today to experience the game just like he did 20 years ago when it came out. And I'm all for that. It's one of my favorite games of all time still. And one of my favorite stories, even though it's confusing as hell. Just a great cast of characters. And I can't see, wait to see what they do with it. Alright, so... Some more, a little bit uh, more of Overwatch news. The next uh, map they're going to be released has been hinted at, uh, at least through there's uh, some kind of Easter eggs in Lijing Tower from the update, from the anniversary update, that hint at having a map on the moon. If you recall, the short for uh, for Winston actually had him growing up on a moon base, which is hence why he has like a bunch of kind of astronaut stuff. You know, he's a smart guy. Um <laughs> But yeah, there's uh, there's hints that the next the next map will be on the moon. So it'd be kind of cool if they did something with moon physics there. I'm still waiting for games to do that kind of kind of well. You know, the only the only game that I figure that that I felt like did something that was pretty unique and pretty fun with that is the Call of Duty Zombies map back in Black Ops One. Yeah, that one was it was pretty interesting, pretty fun, pretty crazy. Anyways, so. Just be on the lookout for that map to, at some point soon. I know we're getting a lot of... We, there's been a rumor of a lot more maps coming out. And really don't... It, it's hard to kind of separate what we know from what are just rumors at this point. Because we thought we were getting three like other kind of different maps with the anniversary event. But it turns out to be not. So that leak was... It was somewhat right, but not really right. So we're probably going to get a lot of that stuff later on. And just... You know, we just got to kind of roll with it. And then, kind of uh, unexpectedly, but welcome, at least for me, because I'm a Microsoft fanboy to the core, that the calling, the Battle Royale style, Battle Royale? Battle Royale style Hunger Games uh, thing, it's kind of like, it's a, I believe this one was first person, is coming to Xbox Live Game Preview, which is kind of their alpha pass thing. Um, the Ark Survival Vol has been on that for forever now, and so has uh, uh, Seven Days to Die is on that as well. So that is coming. It's it's coming to Xbox Live. Uh, what what was it called? Game Preview. Jeez. <laughs> uh, very soon, I believe they said the release date is like June third or June second or something like that. So during E three, this this should be become available to purchase. Um, I'm super excited because it's the first style of that game that we're gonna get on. Uh, xbox live so i i'm pretty pumped for it and of course you can expect to probably see a lot of people um since you can beam straight to beam since you can stream straight to mixer now uh, from your xbox i would expect to see a lot of you know branded people partnered people with that streaming that game um coming soon and last but not least beyond good and evil 2 which has been in development for something like 10 years i think it was announced back in 2008 it, uh, the game director came out and said that no, unfortunately, we will not show it at E3. That it is probably not a good avenue for it. But you should see something later this year. So, yeah, this is a title that's been long, uh, a really long time. We've already gotten a remaster of the original Beyond Good and Evil. So, you know, I can't wait to see what that turns out to be. I never got to. I I do have the original because it was on. Um, it was Games with Gold a while back. So I should really jump on that and play it and see how it is because it's a cult classic that a lot of people seem to enjoy and seem to love. But that's going to do it for the news today. Are you excited about all of this stuff, the Overwatch stuff? Are you excited to see, you know, I mean, why aren't you excited? If, you, if you're not excited, why aren't you excited? E3 is coming up so soon and we got so much stuff more to cover. There is so much stuff we don't know about. 
even just going like to Destiny 2 and stuff like that. Anyways, I'm getting off track. It's been awesome, guys. I'm the Anthro Metal. This is Today in Gaming, and I will see you tomorrow.